Hello. So to make this tutu dress, I've already put my elasticated tube top on my mannequin. It's eight by 10 inches and fits a six to an eight year old. I'm also going to be using these rolls of tulle, the plain tulle in a baby pink, a hot pink and a baby blue. I'm also using a hot pink in a holographic dot tool and this lovely blue colour in a holographic dot tool. To cut my tool to the desired length I use a piece of card and I've cut this to just over six inches, six, six and a half inches across which will more than cover the width of the tool or around 17 centimetres and I've cut it to nine inches, which is going to be the length of the tool. Or 23 centimetres. I'll try to attach a chart, a size chart at the end of this video, which you can screenshot for the length of the two twos and the two two tops. So I'm going to line my tool up along the bottom of this cardboard template. And then I'm going to start wrapping it around the template. I'm going to do around 15 times because I'm doing baby pink, the hot pink and the holographic dots in the hot pink for the bottom and the middle layer. And if I need any more, once I get to the end, last few holes, I can always count how many more pieces I need so I don't cut too much tool and waste too much of the tool. When we get to the end, I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to cut along that bottom edge and remove the roll of tool and put it to one side. And then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to slot it underneath all of those layers of tool and cut right along the bottom through all of those layers. And once you've cut those free, like that, I want this to be a spiky looking skirt, so I'm going to cut a V shape now into it at the ends just to give that a spiky finish. So I'm going to start from the middle and cut up diagonally on this first corner. Just chopping off that corner, I'm just going to lean over the bed so I don't have all the bits on the floor. So that side is cut off, and I'm going to do the same on the other side to form a V shape. I'll just turn this around to make it easier so I can still get it on the camera so you can see what I'm doing. So I'm just cutting from this top bit downwards to form a point. Like that. And now I'm going to do the same on the other side. I'm just going to lay that on the bed next to me and then we're going to cut some more pieces but this time we're going to cut the hot pink plain and the hot pink in the holographic dot tool. So now we are ready to add our pieces of tool onto our top. Now we've got them all cut ready. So I'm going to start off with a baby pink piece. I'm just going to fold this in half like that and then the top piece which I've folded I'm going to thread that through the hole I don't want to start on the very bottom layer of holes I'm going to go for the second layer so these are the holes and I'm going to go in the second layer like there not in the bottom so I'm going to just place that in that hole down to the bottom open the hole up and then I'm going to thread the rest of the tool through that hole to form a slip knot making sure I'm still in line and then pull it tight and that's your first piece on. Then the next piece goes in the hole directly next to that and directly next to that. And you're going to just do it all the way around on that second layer of holes. Next, we're going for a hot pink piece. So again, folding it in half, finding that next hole, popping it through that hole, through the loop, 
making sure the ends are in line and then pull that tight not too tight just slightly tight and then for the holographic dot piece I'm going to fold it in half so the holographic dots are on the outside and then taking that top piece I'm going to thread it through the hole directly next to that one so this one here pop that through the hole the holographic dot tool is slightly thicker so it's a little bit harder to work with not too bad pull that tight through like that and then you have your three pieces on now to continue for the whole of the bottom layer Now to add our second layer, you want to go in directly above that first layer. So where these holes are, you've got like these little crochet squares. So above this crochet square, you're going to go in above the hole above that. So where this piece is, you've got that hole, we're going to go in just here above that square there. Does that make sense? So I'm taking a piece of baby pink folded it in half, same as before. So I'm going to take this piece of tool here from the bottom layer, go in the hole directly above it and come out through that same hole that that bottom piece is in and do the same sort of thing, make that slip knot like that and then find it our next hole along. So above this baby pink piece we're going to go in this hole here and then out through where the baby pink piece is in. So I'm going to take a holographic dot piece of tulle, fold it in half, and go through on that hole above that crochet square, above that pink, and then out through where the baby pink is. I'm going in a random order of colours because I don't have a lot of the baby pink and the hot pink in the um, non-holographic dot, so I'm just going round randomly just to fill in all the holes. So that's the hot pink in there, like that, pull it down. And then I also look at these dots, some of them are facing upside down, so I'll just flip that over and just pull that nice and straight so that all the holographic dots are on the upside, so that looks really nice. Now we can continue all the way around on the second layer. There's the second layer on the dress. As you can see, that looks lovely and full now. We've got two layers of pink on there. Next, I'm going to add my third layer, which is going to be in the blue. I'm going to do one blue without the holographic dots and two blue with the holographic dots. So one, two, one, two in that pattern all the way around the top layer. So taking my piece of cardboard and my scissors, I'm going to cut my pieces of tulle out for the top layer. We're going to do the same method again, binding the middle layer and then going through the hole above, directly above that one. So this one here, we'll find the hole above that which makes this row here our third layer of tulle. And this is our final layer as well. So here is my pieces of tulle ready cut out with the pointed ends. So I'm going to fold this piece of tulle in half find in the hole above which is this one here and coming out through that hole where that piece of tulle is in from the middle layer and again making that slip knot and then I'm going to take a piece of the glitter tulle fold it in half and then the hole directly next to that which is this one here go in through there out through the middle And I'm just going to make sure those holographic dots are at the top as I'm doing it so that they're nice and sparkly. And then I'm going to take another piece of the glitter 
So we're doing one plane, two glitter, one plane, two glitter, all the way around. So the next hole above this one here, so it's this hole here. In there, out through where the middle layer piece of tulle is. Bringing that through that hole, pulling it tight, making sure the dots are on the top. And then we're going to continue all the way around to complete our third and final layer. So now we've got one final piece to add of our top layer. So I'm just going to show you that piece going in. So our last hole is right here in the middle. I'm just going to pop that in there and pull that through. Tight, make sure the dots are on the top. And there you have your finished skirt piece all on the dress. It's looking gorgeous, nice and full. With those three layers, and it's lovely with the two different colours as well the pink and the blue on the top. And next, we're going to cut our glitter panel ready for the front of the dress. I have this patch to go on the front of the dress, Poppy from Trolls. It's going to go on the front, but it's going to be ironed onto this glitter fabric. So this glitter fabric is going to go on the front of the dress, so I just need to measure how big we need to cut a panel to begin with. So I want it around, around six and a half inches across, and measure from the top of the tutu to the top. So about eight and a half inches to the top of the dress. So I've cut a rough piece off here in the size I need it. So I've cut it, this bottom piece is actually six inches across. So a bit of an odd shape because I've been using this fabric, so ignore that. This piece here go up slightly diagonally to eight and a half inches, which was how tall the dress was, the panel needs to be. So it's eight and a half inches, I've just cut a slit to mark where that is. So I'm basically going to cut up diagonally up the sides, up to the eight and a half inches. To make it easier, I'll fold it in half so I can cut both sides evenly, like that. So basically, when you think of a bodice, they kind of come down diagonally. So the bodice will come down like this, that will taper. So that is how I'm going to cut it. So I've just moved on to my lap tray because it's a little bit easier than trying to cut it up in the air. So I've folded it in half and then I'm just going to cut down along this edge. When I open this up, as you can see, that little taper down the sides. Now you can cut this into a sweetheart shape if you like. I'm going to start by cutting it straight across to begin with and then I'll decide when I get to it whether I want the sweetheart look or not. So where this slit is, where I'm up eight and a half inches, I'm going to trim that top off. And now we need to just take off that harsh look by rounding off these corners. So to do that again, I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm just going to cut from this outer edge, curve the scissors round, just to give that a nice rounded off finish. Just even that up so it's flipped a little bit. So that's just softened it up a little bit. Now I just held this panel up to my dress and I thought, no, I'm going to go for the sweetheart look, so that's what I'm going to do. Oops, I just knocked my camera. Just move that round a little bit. So to make the sweetheart, again, I'm going to take my glitter panel, fold it in half, and on that inner fold, I'm going to cut another little V shape in. on this inner corner, 
take my scissors and I'm just going to go and curve that around to the middle and then I'm just going to check to see what that looks like. You can always go more deeper if we need to. Yeah, I'm going to go a little bit more deeper on that. So fold it again and then take my scissors and I'm just going to cut a little bit more of a deeper V in there. That. Yeah, I think that's enough. So you've got that lovely sweetheart finish. I've got this canvas iron on poppy patch from eBay. It's already got a backen on it, which is ready to iron on. You can't really see it, but that is on there. So I'm going to place that on my glitter fabric to go on the front of my dress. I am going to be sewing a trim around this edge, so I'm just making sure I've got enough room and I'm going to pop some flowers in the corners. So I'm just going to make sure that's all lined up even and there's an even space either side and around. And then I'm going to take my iron on a cotton setting and just press this onto here. And there it is, ironed onto my glitter panel. So I popped the iron on the front first just to hold it into place and then I flipped it over and went over the back really well. And um, when I flipped it over, I let it cool down and that's on there brilliantly. And now I've got this felt, it's just a cheap craft felt in blue to match the top of the dress. And I'm just gonna draw around my glitter panel onto this felt. So I'm just gonna place this on here and trace around my panel. And this is just for comfort because when I stick the panel on the dress, I use hot glue. And because the dress is holy, the top of the dress, the hot glue can feel a bit rough. So this felt, when I sandwich the dress in between and hot glue the two pieces together, that's for comfort for the child that's wearing the dress. So this is the lovely trim which I'm going to stick on my panel. I'm basically going to attach it all around the edge of this glitter panel like that. I'm going to hand sew it on all around this edge. So I'll have to start on this side because that's where the sequin side is facing upwards. So I'll line it up with the bottom. Flip it over, I'm going to line it up, taking a needle and some double strand thread with a knot in the end. I've cut this quite long, this thread, because it needs to go all the way around this panel. I'm going to line it up, and I'm just going to go in all the way through to the knot. But as I say, this can get a bit tangly because it's very long. And I'm just going to do that a couple of times on this end, just keep going in and out just to make sure that's nice and tight on the end and that's not going to unravel. And now we can continue stitching the panel, lining it up on that lacy edge all the way down like that. So I've gone a little way up, so I'm just going to show you now a little bit of my hand stitching. I'm not the best hand stitcher in the world, but basically I'm just going along this edge here, this lacy edge, lining it up with the edge of my glitter fabric, bringing my needle through the space bit just there, and then I'm going across to, to the outer edge. Pulling it all the way through, and then I'll come down 
little bit further through that lace bit then over to the outer edge again and just keep going in that manner like I say you don't have to be too fuzzy because you can't see the thread because I'm using white on the white lace so I'm not being too fussy it's just going to be hidden up anyway because when you stick this on the dress you're not going to see the stitching on the back and you certainly can't see it on the front On the corners I tend to stitch a little bit closer rather than leaving bigger gaps because that just helps to bring the trim around that corner. So this is what the back looks like as you can see it's not amazingly neat but you won't see that that's fine. So as we go around this corner I just keep bringing this fabric round just in my finish that's the last stitch there. Bring that round slightly with the curve of the fabric. Now once you get to this little V in the middle, that can be quite difficult. So I'm just going to continue to sew right down to that crease. Keeping my stitches quite close together so I can manipulate that fabric around that bend. And I'm just going to follow that curve. Don't worry about the middle bit ruching up. We can sort that out in a minute. So I'll bring it up a little bit for easiness. So pulling that tight. Bringing that up to follow that new bend. Just holding it in place with my fingers. And then popping a stitch in there to hold it in place. Making sure I catch the fabric as I'm doing it. And then bring that fabric right up. Once you've done a few stitches, that'll then start following the new curve. So it won't be so bad. But at the moment, you just need to keep that pinched in place. And then once you've got a few stitches in there to hold that new angle, that will be fine. So as you can see, we've got this little sort of flappy bit here where that goes around that bend. So to fix that, we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut a slit down that middle, like that, not all the way down. And then that just overlaps like that, so that lays nice and flat. And then that lace bit continues around that corner, so you don't even notice that. And then I'm going to continue with my trim all the way around till I get to the bottom. So I'm nearly at the bottom here as you can see. Just got a couple more stitches to do to get to the end. Before I do that I'm going to trim off my trim. So in line with that bottom of the glitter panel. I'm just going to trim that off like that. And then I'm going to continue with my stitches till I get to the bottom. And then once we get to the bottom, we're going to do the same as we did at the start. Just do a few stitches in and out just to seal that off. Next we need to add our straps, so the straps I'm using is the blue holographic dots tool roll. So to add the straps I'm going to turn the dress 
round to the back and you can see this seam here. These tops always have like a little seam in. And then we're going to count the dots from the seam to the front so we can get the straps even. But first of all, I'm just going to cut off the length of tool I need for the straps. So to measure that out, I'm just going to hold it over the mannequin shoulder. But we need it doubled like we did in the skirt. So I'm going to fold it in half and just hold it over. I want to leave a little bit at the bottom of length to tie. So a little bit of length here. So I'm going to cut it to there. Just grab my scissors and cut that off and then I'm going to cut a second piece in the same length as that. So I'm just going to measure that against my piece I've just cut and then fold it in half and cut off my second strap. From this middle seam, I'm going to count the dots. So I'm going to do it roughly to begin with. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I think that will be enough for now. So I'm just going to pop my tool in there, but I'm not going to form the knot yet. That's just to hold that 20th hole place so I know where that is. So I'll leave that like that. And I'm just going to turn it round and do the same from the opposite side. So I'm just folding the strap in half with the dots on the outside. And again I'm going to count 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Again, I'm going to push my piece of tool in there, not make the knot yet because I want to make sure that my panel fits in between those straps, which is why I haven't made the knot yet. So I'm just going to pop my panel on there, it's going to be a little bit tight, that panel's just overlapping those straps, so I'm going to move out just one I think. So we're going to take that out and then move it out one hole further so that one there and I'm not going through the holes at the top by the way I'm skipping the top row and going down on the second row just want to make sure those tops the straps don't pull off the top so again I'm just going to take my panel just to make sure that that fits in the middle of those straps nicely without being in the way yet so now we can make that slip knot with the straps. So I'm just going to pull that through that loop, pull that nice and tight, making sure that the glitter dots are facing outwards like that. And I'll just lay it over that shoulder for now, like that. And then I'll do the same with the other side. the same on the back we're going to count the holes again we're going to do about five holes so one two three four five and I'm going to go down one so this bottom one so I can't again lost now one two three four five down one so the bottom strap here is going to go down one hole and then the other half of the strap this top piece here I'm going to put in the hole directly above that so we can tie it together because obviously if you put it both in the same hole you won't be able to tie it that will just pull out so I'll pop that one in the hole directly above it and then when we tie it that won't slip out I'm just tying it in a loose knot because the straps are then adjustable for the wearer. 
So I'm just doing it in a loose knot and then these sides you can kind of fan out to make a bow shape. You can trim them if you want, but they're not too bad a length like that. And now we're going to do the same with the other side. Count the same amount of holes as we did this side. So five. And just do exactly the same with this strap. We're ready to add our glitter panel and our backing felt so we're going to take our piece of felt first and just slip that inside the dress just making sure that's all nice and flattened out and straight down the sides and straight at the top so I'm just lining it up with the top of the dress just a little further just making sure that's straight I'm just going to Put my hand under the dress to give that a little pull. Straighten it all out, making sure that's all nice and even. So you can just see through the dress here. And you can see that these sides are nice and straight. Just lined up across this top here. So taking our glitter panel, I'm going to line that up now as well. Making sure that's in line straight on the dress and in line with the felt behind. Like that, you can just see that felt down the side because the dress is see-through. You can see where the felt is sitting. And then once you're happy with that, I'm going to just leave that there while I grab my hot glue gun. Now I like to glue the middle first and then the outside. So I'm just making sure they're still straight. I'm just going to hold my hand on that bottom to hold it in place so I don't lose placement. And I'm just going to pop a nice load of glue in the middle. that onto the dress and that will seep through those holes onto that felt underneath sandwiching the top in the middle and once you're happy that that's set enough you can then work your way a little bit further out and again move this tool out of the way I'm gonna hold the sides out and start adding more glue in the middle, working my way towards the edge. And I also work from the bottom upwards as well.
for the panel, I'll just lift the dress up and show you. The felt can be a little bit loose at the bottom after you've finished it. The top is all stuck, you end up with this little loose bit at the bottom. So I'm just going to lay the dress on the bed and stick my hot glue gun in there just to stick that final bottom piece down of that felt. But the rest is all stuck down from the top, so that's all done. Now we're going to add this double-sided satin ribbon to the waistband. I've cut a length off as around a good two metres. And we're going to start at the back of the dress in line with this seam. So I'm just going to find the end. I'll just try and bring this a bit closer so you can see. So where this seam is, I'm going to go through where this piece of tool is. I'm going to pop my ribbon in through the same hole as that piece of tool, coming out from the right of the tool. So in the same hole as the tool, out through the right. I'm just going to pull that all the way through and just leave a tail long enough to form a bow at the end. So I'm going to leave this tail hanging down. And then taking your longer piece here, and just find the end of the longer piece and then we're going to count one, two and then the next one and again we're going to pop it so one, two and the next one we're going to pop it in the hole where that tool is in bring it out through the right again and then pull that through I'm just trying to keep it straight as I'm pulling it through and then that just lays over that then knots, so slip knots. Again, taking that long piece, find the end, count one, two, and then the next one in that hole through that piece of tool, out through the right, pull that all the way through. I'll just lay over those knots so you can see a pattern starting to form. I'm just finding the end again. And again, count one, two, and then through the next one. In the hole where the piece of tool is, down, out through the right of that piece of tool. And then pull it tight. And we're just going to continue with this all the way around the dress. One, two, that one. In that hole, out through the right. Lay it over the top. Straighten it out over those knots. So, one, two, then through the next one. That. And I'll just show you. As you can see, that just covers up all of those slip knots and that just gives that a beautiful finish and breaks up all of that blue. Come to the end. I've got a couple of holes left, so I'm just going to go in where this piece comes out, where that tail comes out. I'm going to cross this over and put it in that same hole. So that piece comes out through the top and this piece is going in the same hole out the bottom. And that way we can then tie that off in a knot and then make a nice neat little bow with it to finish it off. finish the bow off I just want to trim these ends off so I'm just going to grab my scissors and a lighter to heat seal the ends so I'm just going to cut the ends off this ribbon diagonally so I'm just going to trim that off at an angle oh, quite a little fray bit there let's cut that fray off
And for the final touch, we're going to add some little flowers to the corners. So I've got these little flower garlands. So I got these from AliExpress. I'll try and tag everything in the description below. So I'm just going to trim off. They're on the, this little sort of mesh trim. So I'm going to just fold that mesh down, cut the flowers off like that. So I'm going to cut off the flowers I need. So I've cut off all my flowers. I'm going to go for two pink and one blue in the middle like that on these, both these outer corners. I'm just going to stick my glue on first. I'm just going to fold my petals back to reveal where that mesh bottom is. Like that, so that's the mesh bottom of the flower. Keep those petals out of the way whilst I apply my hot glue to that bottom. I'm just going to trim these off a little bit because they're quite long, those mesh pieces on here. Apply my glue to that bottom. going to place it right in that corner like that so we're going to do the same with the pinks now and pop them either side so again fold it back place the glue on that little mesh bit at the bottom and I'm just going to tuck that in the bottom side next to that blue flower third flower for that side, tuck that just in there. So that's one side done and we're going to do exactly the same on the opposite side. And there we have our finished dress. That looks really gorgeous with the three layers and all that sparkle and the flowers on there. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, hit the like button below the video and also hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my other tutorials. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put all the details in the description below and I'll try and link the products used as well. Thank you for watching guys. Bye bye.